611 on a Tuesday morning and it's time to slow things down and see what's happening in the 608 at this hour. We're talking about a unique family tradition for Halloween out of Sun Prairie this morning. That's where we're catching up with Aaron Voken, who is the master behind what you got behind you here this morning. Aaron, good morning to you. Good morning, Josh. Thank you. Yeah, it's uh, kind of, it's turned into a tradition, I think, I guess you could say. We've been here, this is our second Halloween here at uh, in Sun Prairie, and uh, you know, we did Pirates the first year, and, and uh, my son, River, uh, and my wife said, hey, you know, let's do something different. It was our second year to do Pirates, and so they said, well, let's do some mad scientist stuff, and so I uh, uh, kind of started in January and, and started making stuff and, and went with a mad scientist theme. So you guys are definitely the talk of of the neighborhood there. You know, talk about all of the work that goes into creating that masterpiece. Yeah, you know, as I mentioned, I started in January and uh, just kind of building stuff. I built a seven foot Frankenstein out of uh, just some a door and some electrical conduit and stuff. And and then something else, I put some skeletons together and I'd see ideas on say Pinterest or Facebook uh, online and things and, and just kind of, uh, oh, well maybe I should try that. And, uh, um, you know, it took it, it took a lot of time, hundreds of hours, but uh, it's you know got my mind off of things, um, you know, stress of life and that kind of thing. And then when it's all done, the joy it brings to people is really exciting. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask you. Why do it? You know, why go through all of that? But you just like to be able to spread that joy within Sun Prairie. Yeah, it's really fun. It's it. You know, people will come by. We had someone come by from uh, Fitchburg. Uh, a couple of days ago and they had moved here from out of the country and they saw a news thing about it or something and they said um, hey we wanted to come see it and you know things like that stories like that are really great to see people um, you know just get excited about Halloween and and you know whatever age they are to still kind of find joy and, and excitement about it it's really fun too in the neighborhood you'll you'll see people come by as I get started putting things together and they'll say um, oh no no what are you building now or when are you putting things out and uh, or even in August or September and so that's that's a fun sense of expectation than wanting to come out and see things all right so Halloween just a few days away if people are interested in uh, driving by what do they need to know Aaron yeah, so we are uh, in Sun Prairie down the street from the post office or Walmart, uh, and we're on Silverado. And so if you come down that way, it's pretty pretty easy to see it, especially at night. Uh, you can see the lights, and or even the daytime, you can see everything. So come by, and uh, and, and happy Halloween. We'd love to, to see you, and come check out the decorations. I think people will really enjoy it. Happy Halloween to you too, Aaron. I appreciate your time this morning. Thank you. And remember, you can always let me know what inspires you here in the 608. You can reach out either on social media or email for a chance to be featured. Isn't that quite a, a masterpiece there, Leah? That is pretty cool. I've been saying all morning, but it is like Christmas lights, but almost better because there's such a story behind it. And it's so unique, too. Yeah. I think that's what's so awesome. So good stuff up there in Sun Prairie.